darling heart and welcome to this episode of the Drink Less, Live Better podcast. This is the podcast that helps you to see that drinking less doesn't need to be stressful, lonely or boring. I'm your host, Sarah Williamson, and I decided to have a year alcohol free as a little life experiment and haven't looked back. I'm a best-selling author, expert speaker and life coach. I'm here to champion you with your alcohol-free or drink-less adventures. Give me a follow on Instagram at drinklesslivebetter and head to the website drinklesslivebetter.com where you'll be able to sign up to the five-day drink-less experiment, find blog posts and you can choose to join the email club where I share resources, wisdom, insights and glimmers of hope and joy. I hope you enjoy the episode today. Let's get straight to it. Make your own decision. The idea that we get to choose for ourselves can be daunting. When I first thought about stopping drinking, I thought it was probably easier for people who had been sent to rehab. The choice had been taken out of their hands. They were doing what somebody else had decided for them. Hmm... Was it easier for somebody in rehab? Almost certainly not. I was just being stroppy because I knew I was going to make a difficult choice for myself and I didn't want it to be difficult. The idea that no one is coming to rescue you and that you need to take responsibility for your own actions can be both daunting and actually also empowering at the same time. Perhaps we grow up with the idea that somebody will come to save us in times of trouble. This belief, of course, is reinforced in stories and movies. Whilst the idea of a knight in shining armour or a miraculous intervention is comforting, actually, it also creates a passive approach to life's challenges. Waiting for a rescue can lead to disappointment, frustration and leave you feeling helpless. In truth, expecting someone else to solve your problems will lead to a lack of personal responsibility. It can make you feel powerless and dependent on other people for your own success. And this mindset can prevent you from taking proactive steps to improve your situation for yourself. Getting left in a cycle of inaction and blame is no fun for anyone. So I had to make my own decision. I needed to make a choice to stop drinking and that responsibility was mine and mine alone. No one else could make the decision for me or do the work of actually stopping drinking. And I found that really annoying. When you acknowledge that you are the primary agent in your life, you do begin to realise the control that you have over your own situation. This doesn't mean that you won't face challenges or that external factors won't impact you, but it does mean that your response to these challenges might feel a little bit as if they're in your control. By taking ownership of your actions, you accept that your choices and behaviours have consequences. It encourages you to reflect on your actions and learn from your mistakes, rather than blaming others or external circumstances. I used to love to tell the story that it was society's fault that I drank so much. And of course, there are all kinds of things that I can point to that were external factors and that were not helpful. But it all came down to me and my decision in the end. Having a proactive approach allows you to tackle your problems head on and find the solutions that really suit you. It fosters resilience and adaptability. As you take responsibility and see the positive outcomes of your actions, you create a positive feedback loop. Success breeds confidence, which in turn fuels further success. Developing strong problem-solving skills is crucial. When faced with a challenge, you can learn to approach it methodically, test out what works, test out what doesn't work. Identify the problem, brainstorm potential solutions, evaluate the pros and cons of each option and choose the best next course of action. This 
structured approach will help you navigate your obstacles as they crop up more and more efficiently. Whilst taking responsibility means not relying on others to rescue you, it doesn't mean you can't seek support. Make sure you surround yourself with the people who encourage you. Seek advice and feedback from those people you really respect, but do remember that the ultimate responsibility is yours. Of course, life is full of challenges and setbacks, but knowing that you can take responsibility for your actions helps build resilience. You'll be developing the mental and emotional fortitude to face all the tricky stuff head on. You'll be filled with more courage and more ability to persevere. No one is coming to rescue you and that's okay. That's a really good thing. You get to become the driver of your life. You get to become equipped with the skills and the mindset you need to navigate any challenge, whether that's not drinking or something else. Thank you for listening in today. Come back again next week. I'd love it if you could rate and review the podcast, please. And P.S. I believe in you. Mm-hmm.